Hello, Dumpsterinos and Frugalistas. It's time for the drawing to see who's going to win the most controversial bathrobe of all times. I hung it up on the shower curtain so we could really spread the pattern out. I honestly, I can't look at it. That's the pattern. It really hurts my eyes. So I made that initial video about this bathrobe. I've gone back and looked at it several times, but honestly, like I can't, it hurt. It really hurts my eyes. Somebody likened it to the old test pattern on a TV. It's the stripes, like literally, I, I, I can't. Now I have to look away, okay. To do the giveaway, you'll see that I'm wearing another Vera Bradley bathrobe that my mother gave me that I didn't re-gift. It's also hooded. It's also pretty loud pattern, but I kept this one. Yes, it's a very warm bathrobe. That I can't look at it. It's very warm and cozy. If you like a hood, it's got a hood. It'll keep you warm. I totally get that we all have different tastes. Like people who like it, Great, I'm glad. I was kind of hoping somebody would, but there's no point in me keeping it because I can't look at it. And it seems from viewer reaction, you know, it's a controversial bathrobe. Like some people love it or they say they love it. I don't know if they just want to win it so they can sell it on eBay. And other people just also hated it. And I, I, I suppose I could be a little bit more diplomatic about how I feel about it, but um, I mean, what would be the point? If I liked it, I wouldn't be giving it away. Now, before I, where's my hat? Where's my hat with all the names in it? Where did I put? Oh, it's right here. Um, so anyway, I wrote down the names of everybody who uh, said, I like it. I'd like to win it. Time to pick our winner. Um, but first let me address a couple things because of course you make a video like that. You have to expect a lot of people are going to leave comments like, wow, you are so ungrateful. You are so unappreciative. I wish my mother was still alive so we could exchange gifts. I wish your mother was alive so you could exchange gifts too. I wish my father was still alive, but not so we could exchange gifts, really so I could talk to him and hang out with him and, and give him a big hug. When my mother passes, I probably will also wish that she's still alive, but not so we can exchange gifts. Ari, right. well, I'll tell you, one of my New Year's resolutions is gonna be not to share so much personal information. So this might be one of the last bits of personal information you get, because when you do that on YouTube, you get a lot of criticism and the more of yourself you show, the more hurtful the criticism is. But here we go with the whole, you're not very appreciative. I told you I'm not, I said it. I'm not appreciative of that gift. I don't appreciate, oh, I can't look at it. I don't appreciate it. I know I'm an unappreciative, ungrateful bitch. I know that. Not that owning it makes it okay, but I, um, I've i heard it my whole life, how unappreciative I am, how ungrateful I am, how disrespectful I am, and how loud I am. I know all of that. I know I'm loud. I know people hate my voice. I know people don't really give a shit what I have to say, so they don't want to hear me saying it loudly. I know I'm unappreciative and ungrateful, and I know I'm disrespectful. I'm very disrespectful because there's almost nobody I actually respect. I have respected my father. Do I actually feel respect for my mother? Let me just say my mother and I have very, very different values. And if your values are like hers, well, good for you. And we're all different, right? But my mom is very much the product of her upbringing as we all are. And she is like the Uber country club wasp. And her biggest thing is what will other people think? What would other people say? When I told her I was getting divorced from my first marriage, her response was, well, what are the neighbors going to say? That sums everything up. That is her value system in a nutshell. My grandmother, uh, on the other hand, my mother's mother, when I told her I was getting divorced, her response was, well, maybe if you were a better cook and housekeeper, you could have held on to your husband. That kind of sums up a lot of her worldview. You know, we just have very, very different values. Yes, I know. I'm ungrateful. I get that. As some people suggested, like, well, why don't you just return it and get something you want? You rude, unappreciative bitch. Well, the store she got it at is like a good two hours from my house. 
I don't want to go return it and get something else. Everything after Christmas is on sale, so you don't get what it's worth. So you just have less financial credit to buy towards something else at that store that you don't want. It's just, I, I just thought it would be nicer to pass it on to one of you who might actually appreciate it. I keep looking at it. And you don't get gift receipts from my mother. You don't ask for a gift receipt. You don't imply that you might want a different pattern or a different size. Oh no, she gets you the wrong size. Tough shit. I know also it's the thought that counts. It's absolutely the thought that counts. If someone gives me a gift and I know they actually put some thought into it, like they actually cared enough to think for five seconds of what I might like or what my size might actually be. There's a basic one to start with. Um, or if it's given from the heart, I appreciate that. Little Neve, she loves dandelions. She picks me bouquets of dandelions. And I appreciate that because she knows I like flowers. I don't think she's aware that dandelions don't make a great cut bouquet in water because they die really quickly, but that's okay. Because our front yard has lots of them and she can just keep picking them and giving them to me. And I appreciate that. I think that's very sweet and kind. I appreciate this bathrobe for exactly what it was for exactly the amount of thought and love and time and energy that went into it. I'm not trying to throw my mother under the bus because I'm the bitch. I know that. I am the most disappointing daughter <laughs> these parents could have ever ended up with through the chances of adoption. Here's a baby and good luck. For those of you who might be concerned that this passing on of this gift that I don't care for hurts my mother's feelings. Well, she's never gonna know because you can't tell her that you don't want to keep something. She doesn't watch my videos. Why would you think my mother would watch these videos? My mother's never seen any of my videos. She never will. She couldn't care less. She's not gonna know. If she watched my videos, I wouldn't be giving it away. My mother also doesn't do her own shopping. Someone that she employs will do her shopping for her. My mother did not pick out that bathrobe. When gift shopping is done on my mother's behalf, many duplicates of something will be purchased. Many. So that when a gift needs to be given, she just goes to her gifts to be given supply. And there it is, ready to go. So, I mean, I'm not saying that it's wrong to, to give me the same bathrobe that you're giving to your manicurist and your hairdresser and the seamstress and the lady at the dry cleaner. I mean, that's fine. Like we can all get the same gift and I hope they like theirs, but I don't want you to think that my mother put her heart and soul into picking this gift for me. And it would so upset and offend her to think I didn't actually like it. That's not what gift giving is about in my family of origin. My mother got exactly what she wanted out of this exchange. <gasps> oh my gosh, a bathrobe! Oh, I love it! Thank you! Oh, it's so soft. Oh, I love the colors. I love the pattern. <gasps> a hood? It has a hood? <gasps> this is so perfect because you know I keep my house so cold in winter. This will really help keep me warm. Oh my God, I love it. If only I could get matching slippers and earmuffs. <gasps> Thank you so much, lovey. This is like the best gift ever. You couldn't have picked a better Christmas gift for me. Oh my gosh, this is wonderful. Thank you so, so much, mom. She got the appreciation that she wanted. That's what she wanted. In giving the gift, she wanted effusive, thanks and appreciation. That's all she asks for, effusive thanks and appreciation. I just don't want you to feel bad for her thinking like how hurt and devastated she is now that I'm giving away this bathrobe. Uh, some people commented that they're glad they're not my mother. And yes, you should be. I'm glad for you that you're not my mother because I'm a shitty, shitty daughter and always have been. And I kind of sometimes feel bad about what a horrible disappointment I was to my family. You know, they have that saying that like every group of friends has a weirdo. And if you don't know who the weirdo is, it's you. 
which is me. Like I've realized that lately as I look back on my various groups of friends throughout life, high school, college, work friends, whatever. I'm like, well, there was really no weirdo in that group. Apparently it was me. Well, when you're the black sheep of the family, you don't have to wonder. And maybe every family doesn't have a black sheep, but if you are the black sheep, you know it. They make sure you know that you're a disappointment and that you're loud and disrespectful and ungrateful and you know it. Sorry, I suck. I suck. I feel worse that I'm a disappointment to my father than to my mother because again, I just don't agree with my mother's values. So to have not been a disappointment to her would have uh, probably killed me. Like to pretend to, or even just to try to fit into where she thought I should fit in socially, which I can't, even if I wanted to, I would never have succeeded at that. I, I couldn't. Like whatever manual everybody got at birth explaining how to behave and how to make friends and how to get along with people. And I, I didn't get that manual. Like I don't have a clue. I've been lost since the day I was born. Literally lost. I suck. I'm sorry. I suck. And so all of you who said, oh, you're a poor mother. You're awful. You suck. I'm glad I'm not your mother. Well, you're right. And for everybody who said they wish their mother was still alive so they could exchange gifts with her. I'm sorry your mother's gone already. I really am because it sounds like you had a great relationship with your mother and you miss her. You loved each other and gave each other gifts from the heart. I'm sorry you lost your mother already. I really am. Whatever, whatever. It's been a rough year and I'm just like, I'm just so done. And you know what? She gave the exact same gift to one of my nine-year-olds. And I don't mean a child's size. I mean this exact size and bathrobe. This is an adult bathrobe that she gave to my very tiny petite little nine-year-old who loved it. She loves hers. The pattern doesn't make her want to vomit. You know what this pattern is like? Oh my gosh. So I was in Brighton, I think Brighton, England at one point. And anyway, they have like amusement park rides and there's this thing you sit in. It's like a pod and it spins you and it's on kind of a round plate that spins so your pod is spinning as this round thing is spinning and then that whole round thing is on a bigger thing that spins i've never felt so sick in my life as i felt on that ride and for the three hours after i got off of that ride that's what this bathrobe does to me but neve doesn't feel that way about her bathrobe she likes it she likes the pattern she likes the hood she likes the warmth I'm not giving away her bathrobe. Like she can have her bathrobe that she likes. I might not be able to look at her when she wears it, but she also got a matching blanket. Like the pattern, we will have this pattern still in the house. Don't worry. The torturous pattern is still here. And, that, and I didn't say anything to Neve about it. She doesn't know I don't like my bathrobe and I'm giving mine away. I didn't say, oh my God, Granny gave you the butt ugliest bathrobe that ever existed. I know some people like it. Some people say they like the pattern. And some people say, that they can see how it would induce a seizure. I don't like the, I don't like the color. Com I just, I just, I just, I'm sorry. One likes what, people have different tastes, you know? People like what they like. That was a freaking fun conversation. Now let's just pick the winner out of the hat. Do, 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 do. Where the heck go again? Oh. Here we go, pick a name. All right, the winner of this gorgeous, amazing, soft, hooded, fabulous, colorful, yay bathrobe. Love it! Martin Midlife Misadventures. Hey, Martin Midlife. Love you guys. Love your channel. Please email me with your address and I can box this up. Congratulations! Yay! And I'm sorry to those who wanted it and didn't win. And I apologize to all of those who think I'm a horrible daughter and including my mother if she was watching this which she never will because she doesn't one she doesn't have a computer but i apologize to her too if you ever if you ever see this mom i'm sorry i've been such a shitty daughter for the last 57 years if i could go back and change it i probably wouldn't i know i know i was shit i know so i'm sorry to everybody who hates me i don't blame you and yay congratulations to martin's midlife and if Neve ever decides that she doesn't really want her bathrobe, hey, we'll do another drawing and give that one away too. But she likes hers and that's fine. Everybody's different. My kids and I do not have the same taste in clothing. Let's just say that. But I try to get them what they like. Thanks for watching. Happy New Year to y'all. And um, I'm just remembering one time um, 
as my mother was expressing her disappointment in, uh, I was an adult. I was already a mother, I think, when she said this comment to me. It just kind of says it all. If you're not familiar with the uber wasps, why you just haven't lived. But she did make the, because you know I'm adopted, right? So she did make this comment like, well, maybe you should find your birth mother. Maybe she'd have more luck with you than I've had. I mean, you have to laugh at shit like that, but it's kind of hurtful. Anyway, happy new year, dumpsterinos. I, I hope it's a great one. Yes. Yes. In the new year, I'm going to try to share less personal information and I'll try to modulate my voice a little bit more. I'm trying to be a little calmer and a little more quiet. Bring it down a few notches. Love you guys. You're the best. And we'll see you soon. Thank you all. Goodbye.